hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am back in the kitchen with another easy delicious recipe i am making buttermilk pancakes so to learn how i made these keep watching so for starters, I'm gonna show you guys how to make buttermilk in case you don't have buttermilk. You will need two cups of milk and two and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Give it a quick stir and let it rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Now next, we're gonna add our dry ingredients together. I'm using two cups of flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, and a half cup of sugar. Use a whisk and stir. Next, we're going to mix up our wet ingredients. For your wet ingredients, you will need two eggs, a third cup of unsalted butter, make sure that it's melted, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and buttermilk. Mix all of your wet ingredients until they are well combined. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe, and press the notification bell for more videos like this. Now this next step is very important because we are looking to achieve fluffy pancakes so for our fluffy pancakes you are going to combine your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients and you're going to fold the mixture just like you see me doing here be careful not to over mix your batter or your pancakes will become flat and dense so now i'm just going to speed this up just a little bit so that i won't bore you guys with this clip but just watch how i am folding my batter with my rubber spatula Remember, do not overmix your batter, and when you're done, your batter should be lumpy. Don't worry about the lumps. Next, you want to let this rest for only about 10 minutes. Resting your pancake batter will improve the texture of your pancakes. The rise of your pancakes will be better, and they will be less chewy. So now I'm gonna cook my pancakes in my famous wok. I'm using canola oil instead of butter because I like the outer edges of my pancakes to be slightly crispy. Once my oil is good and hot, now I'm gonna drop in my batter. I basically have this part down to a science, you guys. Once you drop in your batter, it should immediately begin to sizzle around those edges. That way you know that it is cooking right away. If you drop your pancake batter into the skillet and nothing happens and it just sits there, then you have totally destroyed that pancake. It's, it's, it's trash, just, just throw it away. Like, throw it away, it's trash. No, I'm just playing. It, look, this part here is all about preference from here out. The most important thing is that you got the measurements right, you allowed the batter to rest, most importantly, that you did not over mix your batter. I wanna show you guys really quickly that if you ever wanted to cook multiple pancakes in the skillet at once, the key is when you drop the batter of the first pancake, allow the edges to cook for a few seconds, that is basically gonna lock in the shape of that pancake and enable you to add the batter of your next pancake without both pancakes combining and becoming one, if that makes sense. So from here, that's basically it. After you flip your pancakes the first time, you'll only need to allow the other side to cook for about one to two minutes, and that's it. So here's the finished product. You guys, these pancakes were unbelievable. These were the best pancakes that I have ever had in my life. The best, the best pancakes. You guys, if you try this recipe, you will not regret it. I promise you will not regret it. So I want some pancakes, but the grocery stores still are not 
but the grocery stores still aren't selling pancake mix either they are restocking and somebody is coming up in there and they are buying all of Aunt Jemima, the Betty Crocker, the Bisquick, and all them other brands. Nothing is there. So, so, excuse me. So now I have to take matters into my own hands. And I'm going to have to make it from scratch. From scratch. I think I could do this. I think I could do this. Okay. I think I can do this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.